Hello, everybody. Well, this is we, a redo of week one. Uh, this is the first freshwater fly, and it's the mohair leech. The big difference is every time I tie, and I'll tie several times the same pattern, every time I'm saying, maybe if I do this or change that or add that, maybe it'll be a better fly. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But in this case, I did change it a little bit. Uh, I think it makes it a better fly, but you'll be the judge of that. So let's go tie that. All right, we're starting with a, a streamer hook, a long shank. I debarbed it, and I already put on my comb, right? And I'm going to put a little bit of lead. This does several things. It adds weight to the fly, but it also stabilizes the comb. Just gonna finish wrapping it, putting it all together like that. And I'm gonna take a little bit of super glue. Just put a drop right there. And take my lead and slide it right up there, and it stabilizes that. That little cone. Now, I first thing I'm changing in the original one, I used uh, black thread, but in this case, I'm going to use red 210 denier. And right, I'm going to put it right behind, wrap right behind the lead, it kind of stabilizes it more. Thread forward. I'm going to use marabou, a little black marabou, but I'm going to wet it. Just uh, really makes it easy to handle. And when it dries, it, it you won't even know. And I'm going to measure it. I want the shank. Roughly, the tail to be roughly as long as the shank. So, just like that. And I'm going to tie it in right here to add a little body. I'm tie it down. thread back. I'm going to use, I'm using mohair, leech yarn, all right? You can do this in many, many different colors. Olive, uh, claret, uh, you could do it in um, also uh, white. You can buy this mohair in a lot of different colors, but we're doing black today. We're going to take a nice Big nice chunk of mohair. Tie it in right behind it. Just like that. Now bring my thread forward. And this is another one of the changes. I'm going to build a, uh, a yarn body. And you could use it to do black. But I'm actually going to use red because red and black really are a great color combination. So. And I'm going to wrap it all the way in there, bring my thread all the way back up front.
And I'm going to wrap this. It's a nice body, gives a little bulk to it. Right up to the front. A couple wraps to really lock it in. I'm going to take the mohair, but as I do, I'm going to pull it all back like that. And I'm going to start pommering. And each time I go around, and I'll bring it right up. Wrap it forward. Just let a little red peek through. Keep working your way right up to the thread. And tie it off. Build a nice thread hot spot. <clears throat> One of the reasons why I use the red thread is to give it a nice hot spot. And do a nice whip finish. Touch that up, it slipped off right in the comb. And cut my thread. Now, before I put a head cement on this, I want to brush this out.
and put a little head cement. Just flows like crazy in the water. Let it dry, and there you have it, the mohair leech. This can be done in all different colors. You can do it in all black if you want, but I think the red peeking through really helps. Uh, another good combination is black and yellow. That really pops. The yellow really just jumps right out. So um, I would get tie up a bunch. Don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, come up with your own patterns. This, this to me is a deadly fly. It just flows like crazy in the water. So until next one, tie lines, everybody, and see you on the water.